our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Bruce the Dragon Lee! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Darren the Gorilla! You ready to fight? You ready? Let's go. All right, here we go. You hear the pop that accompanies Darren Till. Almost no matter where he fights in the world, this is an outstanding striker. He really knows how to manage distance and range, has a lot of good long-range weapons, and he believes we're getting a kickboxing match here tonight, which should provide him with some advantages. Pretty good jab there by Darren Till. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You know, lands a huge grindy. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, outstanding placement as he lands the knee of the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Uh, no feeling out process, folks. Here we go. Edge of your seat action right out of the shoe. These dudes are trading very early in this fight. This is good. Nice block. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it's home. I mean, these guys are letting it fly. What a pace at their fight now. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. So the numbers continue to pile up. 30 total strikes have landed for Darren Till. Oh, flying knee right on the chin. You got to be kidding me. Edge of your seat action as expected thus far. Oh, man, John, they're trading early. Oh! Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Good series of kicks by him there, DC. He certainly has that part of his game going tonight. He's a fantastic kickboxer, but tonight is the kicks that lead the dance. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. All right, so you see some redness on that calf. Maybe he's starting to slow down a little bit. It looks like he is. It's starting to really hurt him. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Push kick there to the bottom. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Battling for hooks. Single leg takedown attempt here, and that gets you out of your seat. Beautifully done by him there. Oh, man, I jump up and down. Am I watching the Olympics or a big martial arts fight? You don't see single legs this good unless you're watching a real high-level wrestler. Oh, Darren Till with style points there. Man, every time this guy lands DC, you're hearing the news and the odds from the crowd. Oh, nice combination of kicks once again. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. A minute and a half to go in our opening round. Certainly showing off some good hands here tonight. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Missed on the strike attempt there. His stamina has really failed him here tonight. He's got to figure out a way to preserve some energy as this fight moves forward. Big shot to the head. Oh. He's hurt. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. 
Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. All right, mixing up the leg kicks nicely, and that thigh starting to show some visible signs of bruising. Now. You know, you can't even worry about what that high leg kick does now. You have to worry about the dividends that it will pay as we go forward in this fight. Nice kick to the body. Twenty seconds now remain in the round. Oh, another massive kick. Till's head kick attempt, that one is blocked. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Round two next. Till's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cut man will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Go Round ahead. two underway. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these... Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. He's in a lot of trouble. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that. Oh, 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 we might get a stoppage here soon. All right, he's in a half guard position here, DC, and in a good spot to dole out a lot of damage, I would think. A lot of damage can be done from the half guard. You sit back on that leg, you press down into your foot, you drop elbows, you drop punches. What is very key is you controlling the underhook on the far side. If you get on that underhook, your opponent can use the half guard to build up to an elbow, sweep, or just chase down a single leg. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys doling out a lot of damage, and neither seems too bothered by it, but clearly both parties are. Oh, another heavy shot gets through. Till's going for the sub here. Oh, good technique there. He's got the triangle choke locked in. Submission defense. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Just over three minutes to go in round two. Till swelling now around the jaw area, so we'll keep an eye on that as this fight continues. Lee's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. Well, you got to think he's happy with this performance here tonight. Essentially, just the way he drew it up, it's been a striking thing. It's like a fairy tale. He's doing everything he wanted to do, and his opponent isn't doing much to try and deter him and really mess with the game plan. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his more time. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. He started to take advantage of it early.
All right, the official decision is in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 54 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Well, what else can you say about Bruce Lee after a performance like this one? Seemingly everyone on the roster